it's important during the elections we need to talk about Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao, who is the Chief Minister of the Telangana State. Every day during his campaign, you know, he has been talking about several of his programs. And he went to the extent of saying that, you know, he has already implemented 99.99% of the policies and programs that which he has mentioned in the manifesto. And Chandrasekhar Rao lies every day. When we make an analysis of all the policies and the programs, you know, he's not even implemented 1% of the program fully. And much more important for our discussion is, you know, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao, forget about, you know, implementing his policies, which are prom promised in the manifesto. Look at, you know, the kind of politics, you know, he practices. It's feudal politics. He's a feudal to the core. I do not think, you know, in Indian history we have seen, you know, a feudal lord. The kind of feudalism you know, he practices. He's a kind of a Dora. Telangana movement for the last 60 years has been Dora, Dora should go. Feudalism should go. Unfortunately, during Chandrasekhar Rao regime, feudalism has come back with, with a revenge. He's like another Nizam here. He does not go to office, does not meet people, doesn't go to Secretariat, Secretariat, he has no office, he functions from the so-called you know, Pragati Bhavan or he functions from his, uh, you know, family resort, which is located in Gajwal, he fun functions from his farmhouse, he doesn't even meet MLAs, he doesn't meet officials, he doesn't meet ministers, he his ministers, that's why, you know, when you talk about, you know, the kind of a governance, you know, we have here. It's a feudal, feudal form of government. Feudalism to the core is a feudal lord. And that is why the, one of the major agendas in Telangana now, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao, should go. We do not want Doras to rule. We do not want another Nizam to rule. Telangana state, you know, is because of its feudalism, you know, which is practicing. 4,500 farmers have committed suicide, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao, in Telangana after you came to power. Have you gone to one family? Have you visited one family? Did you find out you know, why they are committing suicide? Did you meet you know, farmers in the last four and a half years and after you became a chief minister? These are the questions you know, we are raising, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao. Do not think. When we travel across Telangana, people are asking, people are raising these questions. Why have a chief minister like this? Who doesn't go to office? Who doesn't meet people? Who doesn't meet MLAs? He does not meet any person. So the kind of a feudalism you know, we have, you know, this kind of a feudalism, we, 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 we want to end. And there is some kind of a slavery which is going on. Slavery of different kind of a nature. Slaves because you, know, you don't meet anyone. You don't discuss with anyone. Several representations, you know, have been sent to you. You have not responded to one representation. You don't meet any. How can you function from Pragati Bhavan? There is an official office. You don't come to the official office. You believe in moribund practices. You believe in outdated practices called Vastu, numerology, astrology, and many other things. You have gone for elections one year before. Why did you go for elections? Have you given any any kind of a reason so far. You have not given any kind of a reason so far. We do not want to have, you know, a, a, a person who believes in moribund practices like, you know, numerology, astrology, and other kind. We want a modern chief minister. That is why. That is going to be our agenda in the coming elections. Our agenda is we need to have a modern chief minister. Our agenda is you know, someone who is accountable to the people of this state. We want to know someone who is answerable to the four crore people of Telangana. There is no semblance of democracy in Telangana state. We cannot have meetings. We cannot have procession. We cannot have rally. We cannot even have a dharna. You have taken away the dharna chok at Indira Park, which has been there you know, for the last 30 years. Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao has got to be told there is a constitution. The constitution talks about fundamental rights. It's a fundamental right in this country to protest. 1918, the Indian Constitution talks about freedom of speech and expression. There is no freedom in Telangana. We cannot speak. We cannot stage a demonstration. 
And for everything, you know, we need a police permission. What kind of a police raj going on here? To sum it up, there is feudalism going on. Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao is functioning like a feudal lord, like a dwara, like an Islam, like an Islam. What we want is democracy. Once you know, Telangana Jan Samiti comes back to power, which we will definitely come to power. We are going to bring about democratic form of governance. We are going to bring about transparency in governance. We are going to become accountability to the people. That is what is our agenda. Our common minimum program, you know, which talks about first, restore you no know, democratic rights in Telangana. Restore you no know, democratic values in Telangana. The government will function according to the constitutional norms of this country. That is what is the major agenda of Telangana Jana Samiti. And we appeal to all the people. We fought for 60 years not to have you know, this kind of a regime, not to have you know, this kind of a feudal government, not to have you know, this kind of a Dara government. We want a you know, people-centric government, a person who understands people's concerns, a person who understands people's issues. That is going to be the major agenda. We appeal to all the people. The elections are coming in the next two months. Vote for a party which believes in democracy which believes in social justice, which believes in equality, which believes in equity, which believes in restoring all the democratic rights of the people of this state. That is what you know, we want. I'm sure we will, you will understand our concern. Vote for a party. Telangana General Assembly is a people's party and the people's party should come to power in 2018 or 2019 whenever the elections are held. Thank you very much. Mana Adhikarika account Telangana Janasamiti Party. Dani ki andar guda subscribers ka kawali. Dani adarin saalim kurtun.